Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe, Jodo Cigars, on vacation. Here I am in Branson, Missouri. It is a beautiful and hot day here in Branson. Felt like a good smoke today, so I thought I'd check out and see what we could find in the way of local cigar shops here in the area. I was a little bit disappointed because one of the more long-standing cigar shops in the area, Bob's Cigar Box, come to find out, has been permanently closed. With a few more attempts at looking for a local shop, I was able to find a place called Branson Cigars, so let's check it out and see what they have to offer. So we're basically looking for something that we would probably enjoy on an everyday basis and then something for a little bit more special occasion. So based on that criteria, what are some of your recommendations? All right. Well, my first step is right here in Missouri, we have a really big Rocky Patel distributor a little bit far north. So I have a lot of him right now. Okay. Rocky Patel has been around for a while, as everyone knows. My everyday right now is going to be this Decade Cameroon. It is seven dollars and seventy-five cents. So as you know, it's a little bit less expensive than yeah, some of your other cigars. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, it has nice plants of flavor. It's not too, you know, it's a medium, it's a mild-bodied cigar. So it's not going to be too heavy, you know. For it's probably a good cigar for someone to start their day off with. You know, you don't get a real big buzz right when you're mm -hmm. going into it. For and sure. With the Cameroon wrapper, it has a lot of good flavors, and that is the Decade line from Rocky Patel. Awesome. And then for something for a more special occasion. I have a couple other cigars. I have these Cohiba Nicaraguas right here. They're pretty good. They're, uh, you know, Nicaraguan cigars. If you can't get a Cuban, you get a Nicaraguan. That's generally the go-to. Yeah, for sure, right. So I have those Cohiba Nicaraguas. Another thing I have are Rocky Patel A10s. Rocky Patel A10 is a barber pole wrap cigar. Yeah, that's an awesome look. And they are really, really good. I don't know a whole lot about these guys, but I do know that I've smoked it and I loved it. There was a lot of interchanging flavors. And a cool thing about most of the Rocky Patel Edge cigars is right about the middle of the cigar, it starts changing flavors. So you get yeah. a whole lot of different mouth experiment. Cool. <clears throat> well, I'll definitely think we're going to take at least one of each of those. Uh, you got any other personal favorites that you like? Personal favorites. All right. I like this Rocky Patel Edge over here. This is my number one in my top five pick list. It is a Nicaragua edition Habano. So it has an Habano wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder, and a Nicaraguan and Dominican filler. It's a nice, creamy, smooth smoke, not too heavy, not too light, and a lot of flavor that you get from the wrapper. Awesome, Thomas. Thanks a lot for your help. Uh... So got back to the condo and decided I'm going to go with the Cohiba Nicaraguan. It's definitely my favorite of the ones that I picked out today. Uh, makes for a great review, I think. So also comes in my favorite size, which is the 6x60. Perfect length and ring gauge. Um, like, I, like I said before, I've had some of these in the past and they're excellent. So I'm really looking forward to reviewing this one. Uh, tonight I'm going to be having it with, of course... Some wild turkey bourbon, one of my favorite go-to bourbons. Should be a good pairing. Let's light it up. Wow. <laughs> These things always amaze me. Um, first off, I just noticed just how incredibly great the construction is on these things. I mean, there's virtually no seams that are visible here. And after having rolled a few cigars of my own recently, I have a very newfound appreciation for that. Um, this thing is just, it feels like a solid, solid cigar. It is so tight, uh, so nicely tight and well-built. Uh, I just know it's going to be an even burn from start to finish. Uh, lit up real well. The draw is uh, 
not particularly tight, but it's not super loose, so the, the smoke comes through nice and cool. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. A uh, number of cigars I've had in the past have this remarkable quality of having this really, really consistent smoke temperature from start to finish, and that's kind of a rare thing. So I'll be really interested to see how the Cohiba does in that regard as well. So catch up with you in about 15, 20 minutes. Just a quick note, the flavors on this, off the initial light, lots of leather, lots of pepper, really spicy sort of smoke, which I don't mind. The burn is a little weird. It's got some deep valleys right off the initial light. Um, isn't really affecting the draw, and hopefully this will even out a little bit. I'm pretty sure I lit it just fine. Um, may have been a tad off. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so far it's been enjoyable, and we'll just have to keep an eye on this burn see if it sharpens up at all. I'm a little bit afraid to take this one through the nose. It's such a powerhouse in the flavor department. Lots of pepper in there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do it now in the first third of it. I'm not going to wait to the last third. Did that recently with a buddy of mine while we were smoking up a drone and it about killed us both. So learned our lesson. Don't do that in the last third if you want to save your nose. Uh, if you're going to try to pick up the aroma characteristics, it's better to do it in the first third. So let's go ahead and try it out. Picking up a lot more cedar when you go through the nose on this one. Give it a few more seconds here. Yeah, a lot more woody flavors coming through after you do it through the nose. All right, catch up in a little bit later. Oh man, is this an impressive smoke. I have now been out here an hour and 12 minutes. The ash didn't fall off until almost three inches. And when it did fall off, it kind of fell off on my table. And I was even able to kind of push it into the ashtray it held together so well. Um, as you can see, I still got a good three and a half inches left to go on this thing. Smoke temperature has been incredible. Um, hasn't changed since the first light. Flavor, as I noted earlier, has uh, been wonderful earth tones, nice leather, cedar, really uh, wonderful spice in there. Nothing overpowering, but it was enough to really knock me back. This is definitely going to be the only cigar I smoke tonight. There have been other cigars I can do one and light up another one just because it was over in, you know, 45 minutes or so, or that the flavor just wasn't so in your face. This one just incredible. Uh, it's a good thing I'm sitting down. It's a good thing I have something to drink. And it's a good thing I ate something before <laughs> I started this guy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off on this one right now. Um, just it's going to be an overwhelmingly long review if I just keep going to the end. So really impressed with this one. The first time I've had a Cohiba with this gauge. I've always had kind of Churchill's before where the gauge is like 52, 54, something like that. This one's a 60 and you can really see the difference. And you can feel the difference for sure. Really like this one. I'd uh, give this one a solid four and a half puffs out of five. Really enjoyed myself tonight and uh, was really happy for the recommendation I got at Branson Cigars. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for watching another Joe No Cigars video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. I want to give a special thanks to Thomas at Branson Cigar for showing us around his humidor and for the recommendations on the excellent smokes. Until next time, guys, smoke a good one.